the name of the album? We don't got a name for that bad boy. Okay. We still figuring it out. Okay. We only we just been playing about a year now, just about a year now. Okay. Me and Joe, the bass player, I've been knowing that nigga for about four years. That nigga, he go hard. Yeah. Your brother was so white nigga was so. Oh. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Who taught you how to play the guitar? Man, you wouldn't believe it. Uh, I asked my mom for some drums. She showed up with a guitar, so I had to figure that out. Um, <laughs> really? I remember I prayed a lot. I had prayed to the Lord, and I always remembered that uh, my mother told me, be careful what you wish for and, like, be careful what you ask the Lord for because you might get it, you know. And I used to pray to him all the time, be like, bless me on this instrument, give me understanding and discernment, uh, success through it. And I was like, I'll sacrifice my time and my free will and like read my Bible and like try to be more obedient to you if you bless me and help me bring people closer to you through it. And I'd be damned if he didn't, you know? Really? Dang, that's what you asked for for real? And you was thinking it was gonna be drums? Yeah, I wanted to play the drums. When I first got into music and stuff, I remember Guitar Hero came out and I was listening to a lot of rock and roll at the time. I had been, I grown up with like rap my whole life. So this is like when I'm like 13, and I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I ain't <laughs> never heard no Aerosmith thing. This shit fucked my head up. Yeah. So I got into guitar real heavy and stuff and like, like top that, that, that type of music. But I wanted to play the drums. I wanted to play the drums. Mm. I remember seeing church and shit. And I was like, the niggas on the drums seem like the cool niggas. Like, I want to be the niggas. <laughs> <on the drums." laughs> But she was like, hell no, you ain't getting no drums pretty much. She just showed up with a guitar one day, and I had to figure it out. And I remember praying, and I was just like, just show me a way on this instrument, Lord. Just show me how to. Um. So you would never been, like, like, taught or anything? You just straight self-taught? Pretty much. I don't know. I don't know how to tell you, like, the name of this chord. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how to tell you the name of that or what notes. <laughs> Work up under you just that. play for whatever feels good, or yeah. With my ear, I, I trained my ear a lot. Trained mm. my ear a lot. I played to a lot of my old uh, records that my grandparents. I ended up getting through their uh, passing a whole lot of records I got that I just jammed to quite often. And, like it teach me a lot. Just mm, okay. You got to learn from the people that came before you. Yes, sir. Yeah. So let's let's start from the beginning. Man, where you from? Dallas, Texas, man. Dallas, Texas, born and raised, man. Okay. But um. Yeah, I'm uh let's say from the from the jump, from the jump when it all started, uh I used to watch a lot of music videos when I was a little nigga. I remember when Usher would come on, I'd be like, Oh hell no, I'm about to go dance, nigga. I have in front of the TV, <laughs> nigga. I put on my leather jacket, nigga. I put on my shades and shit, you know what I'm saying? I get to dance with that motherfucking shit. Michael Jackson come on as a prince, I'd be like, nigga, I'm gonna be famous. I used to say that shit all the time when I was yeah. a hood, nigga. I was like, I wanna be famous. My mama used to laugh and shit and like they never really thought much of it, but I used to practice on singing a lot as a young and like sing like a, a lot, copy a lot of people's voices and stuff, but never really had no confidence in myself as an artist. And then like I was put it put that mic a little closer. Never had too much confidence in myself as an artist or like really knew what I was capable of or what was gonna happen later on in life. Mm. And um I just practiced dancing a lot and singing a lot, I remember, and I was like I knew that I had a little something something. But I wasn't uh wasn't really pushing myself to go too far with it or really thought too much of it until I started really just thinking about everything and like seeing how life was playing out as a youngin, like getting a little bit older and stuff. I was like, nigga, I got ten toes, ten fingers, just like the rest of these niggas. They not some right. holy motherfucker just because like they just just knew to believe in themselves and not hold themselves back. Mm. They knew that like you're capable of beautiful things and like you can hold yourself back from that if you acting like a scared little bitch about life you know what i'm saying you gotta go chase that shit you know what i mean so yeah i started chasing life and really uh fueling myself and believing in myself like my even though my mom bought me a guitar and my dad bought me a guitar and like helped me out here and there with shit like they wasn't really um more supportive as like play that whole nigga you know what i'm saying like they was like turn that shit down cut it off i don't want to hear it that shit lame, you know what I'm saying? For the mm. long, even after I got good, you know what I'm saying? It just isn't, not even till just like recently now that they see me got pictures playing with Coolio on the sidewalk and like other shit like that, that they're like, okay, this nigga doing something, I guess. But like for the longest, I was the only person really supporting myself. And then, then I went to, uh, went to getting, Getting into uh, drugs and shit, man. That was after, uh, this This is around high school, I'm talking about. This around high school. Started getting into drugs and shit and, like, stopped going to school. 
and really uh, got into this damn guitar and shit. And my mom was not having it. So she sent me to my pops. That nigga wasn't having it. Me and him was about to scratch. So then I went back to my tea lady house and then me and my step pop scratched and I had to get the fuck out. My mm. mom was like, got a dip nigga. So I went to my granny house and like, she was super supportive. She always like loved the music and shit like that. Like, like, and she had been lonely cause my granddad had died a few years earlier. Right. You know what I'm saying? So mm. like, I'm just chilling with granny, but mind you, I'm, I'm on drugs nigga. Like I'm on cocaine and a few other things. You feel me? And I'm a young nigga going through different forms of puberty and shit. So a lot of shit shaking up, you feel me? And yeah. I'm, I'm disrespectful, nigga. Like, I'm mad disrespectful. You <laughs> yeah. feel me? Like, just ignorant for no reason. And um, at the time, I couldn't really hear the Lord's voice. You know, I was really clouding my judgment and my, my vision on what my, my mission in life was. And ended up getting into my grandma. I ain't, not physically nothing, but just verbally disrespecting her. And I had to dip, right? So I got my Bible, my guitar, and... That's about it. And I'm just out here. And I'm like, nigga, I'm going to be all right. My uh, tea lady called me about a week later. And I already knew it was some shit because I had some dreams. And uh, I didn't listen to it. I didn't apologize. Never called her back or nothing like that. I had ended up getting a call from my mom. Somebody ended up stabbing my grandma 52 times in the chest in her apartment. And locked her in there. She was in there for a good little minute. Locked up. Me and my... Uh, yeah, me and my mom and my little brother and everybody took that one a little while. That shit fucked our heads up. But especially me. Like, my mom, she was on some petty stuff a little bit. Like, I ain't talking to her right now. And, like, I was on some some shit like that, too, I guess. You know what I mean? And then to see her just taken from us like that really taught me a powerful lesson that I um, hold to this day. Like, just love people out of here, you know? Yeah. Thank you for tapping in with us. In order to see more clips like this, check out this video here or check out this one here.